You know, did you know Drake has a, a mic of, what's his name? Who's the guy that he dissed? The rapper. Uh, I'm uh, glad we don't know. The guy that dissed him for the baby? Pusha T. Pusha T, yeah. So Drake had a mic mm. signed by Pusha T. And then when he wrote that diss to Pusha T, mm. he wrote about it saying, I got a mic of yours. And then the signature is fading away. And he's, he said something about like, and that's kind of how your career goes right now. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Because yeah. he's kind of fading away. Damn. Bro, is it, is it your hero is turned to villains, fam? No, have you lived long enough to see like your hero turn into a villain? For you, I know it's Kanye though. To a villain, uh, he kind of is a villain. Like he's yeah, going I guess against, he's, a villain. he's going against the grain. I feel like all of my heroes, mm. are, like anti heroes, because I'm, I'm a Deadpool fan. That makes me? sense. That makes sense. I'm not. I'm not like a usual. I don't always root for the the mm. hero necessarily. You root for the the villain. <laughs> Hear me out. <laughs> the villains always have the craziest backstory and they're the most relatable every single time they're the most relatable bro mm. because some dirty shit got done to them mm. that's why they're evil and more times the regular person isn't so turn the other cheek the regular person is yo i'm gonna fuck them up yeah the hero story is more of like um, a spoiled like brat you know it's like he gets but, all the limelight and shit like that yeah yeah that's what it is <laughs> that's what it is it's like it's like um it's for the sake of the plot yeah but like only like one third of the people actually get to live that hero story like a lot of people are not going out and they're mm. getting praised like a hero you know see that's why I like anti anti-heroes because yeah. even though they're villainous people mm. they can still do good yeah yeah me like look at um kill bill Facts. she's marking people but like she's still doing her own she's still the hero at the end of the day yeah, fam exactly like like uh i thought that everyone was innocent until um i think Kawhi leonard's sister oh. was took in you seen this yeah. for murder or something that's like crazy. that crazy but yeah that's that's another but like, it wasn't Kawhi himself yeah if it was Kawhi, that would have been crazy you, you hear the the raptors theory though nah so almost every single player of the raptors their father passed away huh so i think Lowry doesn't have a dad. Demar doesn't have a dad. Um, what's his name? Kawhi didn't have a dad when he joined yeah. the Raptors, and uh, I think OG as well. Uh -huh. Don't get me wrong; there might be a few other players, and yeah, it might yeah. be mixed up. But I know like a lot of the the Raptors, hmm. their dads either passed away or like in jail or something. I yeah. think passed away. Fuck. There's another Raptors theory. It's yeah. like if you're if you're up and coming in the draft, mm -hmm. and you're a uh, Nigerian <laughs> and you're a Nigerian or like an immigrant. No, it's because Masai. That's hella, tall, <laughs> that's hella tall and just hustles every time. You're getting picked by the. <laughs> yeah, because Masai. Masai's running it, fam. Oh, how do you feel about thing? How do you what? feel about Lowry leaving? Or who left recently? Who? Somebody left, right? It was no. Lowry. Oh, La that was a long time ago, though. I'm not up to basketball. So hey, that, <laughs> that was like three yeah. years you ago. You know what's crazy? You know what's crazy? I always, I watch for like a segment of my life. Yeah. And I dip and I come back in I'm like, yo, what, what happened to all these trades? <laughs> I didn't even know Kevin Durant got traded, bro. Oh yeah, that was a big one too. He's he's on what? Uh, the Phoenix Suns now. Oh shit. The Phoenix Suns are stacked and I think that, that that's gonna like win out of the- The West? Yeah. Damn. You think we're ever gonna win again with Toronto? So, Do you think yeah. Toronto actually has a curse? Cause the Maple Leafs are doing good, right? The Maple Leafs are doing good right now, but I feel like they're not gonna go all the way, obviously. Yeah. Cause that's just, that's just the curse of the Leafs. Yeah. Yo, so I was watching this um this show recently, okay. and it's crazy. Mm. This show, this is probably like the most fucked up I've seen a TV show rather right. than like an A24 film. It reminds me of Hereditary, it reminds me of like Midsommar. What is it called? So there's a show called Yellow Jackets. Okay. It's pretty much about these girls. They're on a soccer team, right? Mm -hmm. And they're on their way to do like a Nationals game. Okay. So they're on an airplane, their airplane crashes into the wilderness. Fuck. And they're stranded there for months and months, right? And they don't die? This is what happens. So they're stranded there for like the first couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. And they decide, okay, let's just stay with the plane. Maybe they're going to come and rescue us, right? Okay. Eventually, like, they start running out of water. Like, fuck, how are we going to get water? Yeah. So they make their way to the lake. And they see like a lake house. <laughs> okay. This sort of gets crazy. Because yeah. you think it's just going to be a regular, regular like, like there's no one in the house it's stranded, just stranded. Yeah, yeah. survivor story right mm -hmm. but in the house upstairs they find like wax marks okay. all around the floor in the attic yeah and they see this mark it's like a triangle a circle and then like two slashes in between it fuck does that mean now 
they look at it like, yo, this looks like some seance type beat. Oh, okay. Like, like a Mason? Some, Ma- yeah, like, Masonic? like satanic cult type oh, of shit, right? Okay, okay. So just for fun, because they're stranded there for a long time. Mm-hmm. Like, yo, let's let's try something here. Mm. So they put candles in the spots of those symbols. And then they started to do a seance just for fun because they're bored as fuck. So wait, they just randomly got candles and started doing yeah, it? Yeah, they started doing <laughs> what it. <the laughs> Yo, what happened? So this girl, when she got stranded there, mm-hmm. she was taking pills for, her, I guess, her psychosis. Okay. And she ran out of pills because obviously, like, how is she going to get more? Fuck. Now, what happened they, when they started doing the seance? Mm. They were just asking stupid questions like, oh, is she going to get a prom date? Oh, oh yeah, you're fucked, buddy. Did she hook up with that guy? <laughs> And then they started asking like serious questions like, will we ever get out of here? Mm. Like, will we all die here? Yeah. And it pointed to no. And right when it pointed to no, there was like a gust of wind that like blew into the window. And the girl that she didn't have any meds anymore. Yeah. She started seeing shit. She got possessed. Oh, fuck. She, she got possessed and then she started speaking French. She's like, <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> she looks like her friend. Wee wee. Yeah, so she started. She started speaking French and shit. She got possessed, uh, and then she was pretty much telling them like she wanted blood. Okay. She's telling them she wants blood. She wants blood, right? Yeah. Now, um, one of the girls, she's super religious. She throws a Bible at her, mm. and then she's like, she like snaps out of it. Yeah. She's like, oh, what the f- why'd you throw that Bible at me? It's like, yo, you were possessed. Fuck. Now, time goes by. And they're they're starving because they have no food. Yeah. What do you think they resort to? Eating the the friends. They're like, okay, which one is the weakest? I'm gonna eat that one. So taking the beginning of the show, the first episode mm-hmm. is a girl running away, being chased by other girls wearing yeah like cloaks, yeah, wearing yeah. like fur. That makes sense. And murdering her and killing her mm-hmm. and obviously eating her. Yeah. So what happens is that spirit, right? It started possessing like everybody there. And I think what happened, they found this girl, she's like super sciencey, yeah. and she found mushrooms, like psilocybin oh, mushrooms. No. And she took a trip and she put it in the stew. Oh my <laughs> and God. And gave so it to everybody. Was... She gave it to everybody, except for one girl didn't take it. <laughs> everybody started tripping out. Everybody started like trying to eat this guy. Yeah. And then they were like doing like some not safe for work stuff, you okay, know what okay, I mean? Okay. But they were tripping. They were like really forming into some weird cult. Mm. But after the trip, the girl that didn't take it, she was like, why did you guys all start doing that shit? Like what happened to you guys? And oh, fuck, bro. So pretty much they took her in mm-hmm. and she, they were like, okay, we need you to drink this. Yeah. And they gave her like a hot chocolate laced with the, with, mushrooms. with the mushrooms yeah. and the moment she drank it everybody's faces like changed and then they said like thanks for joining us mm-hmm. so what they see what they're seeing isn't what's present there mm-hmm. it's like another realm okay it's like spirit it's like spirits that that are talking through the people okay. so she could only see it after she took the shrooms, oh. so you know, you know, you know, my bad. Yeah. You know, what, <laughs> you know, in Robin Hood, uh-huh. no, no, not Robin Hood, Peter Robin. Pan. You know, in Peter Pan, where we're like they're all pretending they can eat the food, yeah, and but there's no food there. There's no food there. But the moment they use their imagination, they can start eating. Mm. Remember that? It's like okay. that. So okay. it's not there until you actually take part. Fuck. And bro, there's a lot of shit that happened. Uh-huh. But the religious girl, right? She's a pilot, and it turns out like they found a plane. She's on the plane. And she's they're tripping. all happy. No, they're all oh. happy. Like, oh shit, we're gonna get, we're gonna get saved. She's gonna go fly uh-huh. and get us help. She's she's on the plane in the air. All of a sudden, she's like praying and stuff. She has a teddy bear beside her because that's like her her childhood teddy bear she brought with her. Midway in the air, starts it catches fire. <laughs> what the fuck? And then the plane explodes, bro. <laughs> and then everybody else is like, what? The- Wait, this is not a true story, right? This no, this, okay. is, this is the show. This is the show. Okay, because <laughs> I, I was like, I felt bad for laughing. Nah, but, yeah. it's not. It's not. It's not. Okay. No, but there is a true. There's a true event that I think is based on. Mm-hmm. I think in the Andes, there's a either a soccer team or like a cricket team. I that think this happened stranded. in the se- in the 70s. Yeah, mm-hmm. their plane crashed. Same shit that happened. Mm-hmm. They had to resort to like eating each other. Okay. And what's crazy is they actually had a radio with them, mm-hmm. but. They were listening to the radio and at one point they were getting updates of 
the search team that that's going to look for them oh. and eventually they, they heard that yo they're not searching anymore Damn. like they made an announcement like they're done searches mm. so that forced like two of them to go out and just journey and try and find like yeah. help okay and that's so, the way they got out so these like uh psilocybin mushrooms that they found yeah you can just find them uh anywhere right yo or, they're or they're natural to, they grow in the forest they grow in and the shit. forest yeah, and you fam. can just eat it straight like just wash it off type thing fam, yeah you can just like eat them like you can probably go in the forest in canada and find some fuck? shit like that because i was on a binge yesterday because remember on the, the vlog where I, when you were like yo let's do an ayahuasca hike <laughs> and then i was like i'm at ayahuasca like a trip. retreat, and then I, was retreat. Like, I was like is that a hike no but then, <laughs> but then I, I searched up what it is and i was like on a binge of just like everyone doing these different drugs because i don't know i, I just love watching it because i'm yeah. obviously not gonna, not gonna do it mm -hmm. so there was this guy who t who did this like ayahuasca retreat and i was looking at it and um when they were uh when he was with like the shaman or whatever yeah he would be sitting down right and they would be playing like these this calming music behind it right and then whenever he would like tap his head with like a steel glass or tap his 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 uh chest mm -hmm. he would start throwing up oh fuck. and I, I searched up what it was i think it's like um everything like bad spirits oh yeah you, is, you is release the toxins yeah, and shit. coming out like mm. it, it may be like depression it may be like anxiety but it would clear you of that problem that's trying to get out yeah i heard and about that you because you can't go into the trip without that being cleared mm. or else you're gonna have a really bad trip mm. yeah and then the funniest one was the um it was toad piss some guy, yeah so, so they they made a toad piss and then the guy like smoked it and then he fell back right? like dmt yeah i think it was dmt it was like dmt 005 i think mike tyson did that yeah something it's like that it's meo 5 dmt right yeah mike tyson did that but it's not piss oh it's not it, piss? it's it's they take the toad and the slime that's on the yeah, back of the toad the slime, yeah. they they wipe it onto a glass oh. and let it harden in the sun and then they shave it down and then like it becomes a powder or, yeah, yeah and, then and they, they do, smoke that yeah yeah they do that because um i think that's what they just uh nickname it it's toad piss mm. but uh when he did that the first thing when he uh when uh he woke up he hugged the guy and he was like i understand i was like fuck bro what Yo, do you understand it's life changing for them fam. what do you understand because i heard what it is like you literally just get taken out of the simulation yeah, yeah. like you, you just pause on everything nothing matters yeah, yeah boom what would that be like mm -hmm. that's why it's like fuck man if i was ever to do it i would probably do it when i'm like older older because mm. right now I, I don't think i need it because i'm hella like happy already with with life it might change you forever still it might, it might it change might, you forever you might just because yeah, if you think about it what's because we make our own purpose in life feel me mm -hmm. and a lot of the time we don't realize like what am i actually doing right this second to even make a difference in anything see that's the thing it's like do people when people go on uh shrooms and do these shrooms they come out with a whole different purpose like they don't give a fuck no more mm. i feel like that's what's gonna happen to like like me mm. you feel me you think you think you would i feel like i would drop everything i would do it and just live like a whole boy and just be happy <laughs> <laughs> like that's i feel like i would well go if you think about it what did jesus do like, he didn't have like a lot of money he yeah, didn't yeah. like honestly look if you think about it mm -hmm. they weren't even worried about jobs and stuff yeah like the jesus and his disciples they yeah. weren't really worried about jobs <laughs> I, I just uh find myself you know that guy who's preaching about the uh masonic symbols the the government the illuminati and yeah. he's homeless i feel like that would be me bro <laughs> <laughs> on I the just, street yeah because i would be like okay what's the point of all this if i really found out like yo my purpose is just to to mm. be happy oh yeah that's but i think there's like a fine line of knowing and not doing yeah you know what i mean like even though you know for example you know junk food is bad for you but you still but i would still do you it still yeah. indulge in it because but after thing i probably wouldn't do that no more since i was like i understand maybe you don't know though you don't know yeah, you don't know you don't know for yeah. sure because for me i'm like i know so many things are bad for me but i still like mm. take part in it yeah but it's that it's that give and take is like i learn from my mistake mm -hmm. right i feel like that's that's so important we're supposed to make mistakes just so like my answers are, are i mean bad. my questions are answered yeah yeah imagine living a safe life your whole life i would that's that's kind of yeah scary. if you just do everything good your whole life mm -hmm. how are you gonna how are you gonna learn bro yeah. i guess you learn through others that fucked up around you but still yeah you that that is also a thing if you have like older brother younger sister yeah but yeah but also something i learned too a lot of companies that have like stars in their logo mm -hmm. are related to masonic symbols yeah like the freemasons yeah yeah so i didn't know that the they worship like the bright sun or the bright star and if you really look at it and every logo that you see around like carl's jr 
the serious FM dog. He has a star. Oh, it's a star. Yeah, the, uh, the NFL logo, there's a bunch of stars. Everything has a star in it. But also stars is just like super prominent in a yeah. lot of things. But also, uh, what I learned too, here, I'll, I'll show you the ones that I found out. Yeah. So if you know what you're looking for, these have... Uh, uh, different symbols. So Mazda, you know what the Mazda symbol lo is? Yeah, it's like a. It looks the like owl. a bird, kind of. Yeah, it's yeah. the owl. The owl is the Illuminati. Oh, like Mola. Yeah. Oh shit. So HBO, HBO. If you if you turn it down, it's an owl. The the. No, it's not. Let me see. Go search, search up. You turn your head to the side, you see an owl. Isn't it just a circle? The B and the O. Whoa! What the <laughs> fuck? Yo, I didn't take that in. Nah, is it really though? Yeah, it is. It is. You can draw it out. All right, next one. Search a fox. Search a fox logo. F O X. Okay, fox logo. <laughs> this is about to blow your mind. Oh yeah, I know this one. What? No, no, this one. Oh, what about this? Turn it to the side. S skull crossbones. Oh shit. Yeah. And then Taco Bell. Search of Taco Bell. You know what that is? This nah. one, this one fucked me up. Taco Bell logos. Taco Bell is is Masonic. Watch. You see you see the reptile eye? <gasps> Yo! That's crazy. That's crazy. Yo, it does look like that. No, it is a reptile eye. So it goes like this. It looks like a snake eye. Yeah, yeah. And the easiest one, Chase Bank, you know you have to look this up. Uh it represents a which is a sun symbol. Wait. Chase Bank. Yeah, Chase oh, Bank. because it's, it's like, like the the lines, the four lines connecting into a thing, and it becomes what? Like a version of a. Oh shit! And that's a sun symbol, and in every Chase Bank commercial, you can see that it's on the sun. The the logo is on the sun. Damn. Yeah. So there's little things that that mans don't know, but it's Masonic. Damn, they, everybody's just lying to us now. Yeah. Everybody's just lying to us. Period. <laughs> yeah. Like they don't even care about your life no more, like fam. Mm. If they have your money. I'll just yeah. lie to you like yo, yo, everything's then, all good like, yeah. you know, yeah, they'll censor everything one. too they'll censor everything too because i don't know if you've seen the the deleted snl kanye speech nah have you seen that when everyone's roasting him for wearing the trump hat oh the um make america make better america great, yeah great again and then he's like oh yeah you guys are roasting me but I, i'm the true hero or something and then he's like, oh, I want to be like you guys. I'll take it off. But I won't because I'm Superman or something like that. Whoa, it was what? a crazy bar that he said. Wait, it's it's gone. Like, you can't find that shit? Yeah, it's deleted. I heard, I heard like, um, Chris Rock, he threw, like, a, a really shitty first pitch. And you can't find that video anywhere. Oh, he like deleted it? He's, like, deleted off the internet. Like, he threw a really, really terrible first pitch. <laughs> and it was terrible. And yeah. they just deleted it. He's like, yo, agents, get that fucking off the internet. Word. Yeah. Or what if that's a symbol? It's like it's like everyone who's had it because there's been bad pitches. Yeah, everyone who's had a bad pitch is one. actually for the one. <laughs> Yo, Steph you know Curry. what's you know what's crazy? Yeah. So I I just found out. You know those um the Walmart brands of cereal of like other products. You know how there's like great value and then oh, yeah. the regular brand, right? Mm -hmm. So they have Cool Whip and then they have like regular whipped cream. Yeah. Did you know it's made by the same company? Wait, the great value and the, the same one? And the cool whip. So what great value does, they go to the same manufacturer fam. Yeah. And they just get it made cheaper without that brand name. So that's why at Walmart, they all have they always have like the great value oh. version. It's all the same, bro. So what's crazy, mm -hmm. the canned veggies. Yeah. You know, like the the can? Yeah. The Big name brand is Green Giant, made by Green Giant. Uh -huh. Even the Great Value. Is made by Green Giant. So why shit. do they do that? The cereal, same thing. Now there's this store called Aldi in the States. Okay. Now this store is known for like, we have the best, the best products that match up to the big name brands. Mm -hmm. That's how they promote their store. Yeah. If you go into Aldi, they have this brand called Millville, right? Okay. And all of their cereals are offshoots of cinnamon toast crunch offshoots of cookie crisp mm. offshoots of rice krispies and they look so similar all by millville the real name brand is made by general mills so they dug deep and found out yeah. that millville is the same thing as general mills what it's the exact same they've been lying this whole time damn bro. so bro. it's the same cereal exact same taste everything even the doritos there even the the fruit roll-ups there even the pop tarts wait so it's all made by the same manufacturer we just choose to buy the name brand 
Because that's what we're fed. Wait, but they taste the same or no? They taste the exact no, they don't. same. No, they don't. No, they they don't. taste the exact same. So you're telling me if I eat a uh, no name brand uh, Dorito? Yeah. And it'll taste the same. It will taste the exact same. So, so that's placebo? especially especially if it's made by those companies. So it's placebo this whole time. So no, I swear we just never just... bought. We just never bought the non name brand. What? Yeah, fam. No, we need a taste this test this whole time. We need a taste test because there's no way. I know that some of them have different tastes though. No. Okay. Maybe maybe there's a, a, like they out, put... <laughs> a outlier somewhere. Yeah. But fam, most of them. Uh, Shane Dawson did a test on it. Oh, so it's like, Shane what's Dawson it? did a test. They're all the same dog. What? Even yo, what's even crazier too? Uh-huh. Uh, Shane Dawson did the the test w- on Uber. So there's like three different restaurants. I think there's like um green something. Mm-hmm. There's like this healthy restaurant. There's this uh, regular like chicken restaurant, mm-hmm. and then there's Red Robin. Okay. Now he ordered meals from each restaurant. When they all came to him. They came in the same bag, same plastic bag, same container, same yeah. napkin, same straw, same drink container. Damn. Now he did a deep dive into the search. <laughs> it's the same address. Yo, so Fuck. people got finesse into thinking, oh, I'm I'm ordering from this nice, like healthy yeah, restaurant. Yeah, yeah. It's just from Red Robin. Oh. It's the exact same, just different brand on the Uber app. Cause it looks different yeah. on the app. No, because you remember this happened to you too. When yeah, you this got, happened to me. When you got finesse with the chicken burger. Yeah. And that shit was from a different restaurant. It wasn't even from the same restaurant. I know, because I think um they're they're part of that company or something. Yeah. Like they run that business too. Mm-hmm. So you thought you were getting like a nice chicken sandwich, but it was like some next pink sauce chicken sandwich. Yeah. Um what's the name of uh Oh, Pasquale. You ever heard of Pasquale's pizza? Uh no. So check this out. Yeah. This is crazy. What happened? So on Uber. There's this place called Pasquale Pizza, right? Mm-hmm. And it looks very bougie. It looks very nice. People have ordered from Pasquale. Yeah. And when they open the box, the pizza slices, they don't match oh, so like with Chuck each e. other. Cheese. Just like Chuck E. Cheese. Okay. What's crazy, Pasquale is Chuck E. Cheese, bro. <laughs> So they know nobody's gonna order pizza from Chuck E. Cheese on Uber Eats. Oh. So they named it Pasquale. Pasquale is the name of the chef in Chuck E. Cheese. Yo. You know the, the animatronic chef? Yeah. Pasquale, the pizza maker? Yeah. That's his name, bro. No. So they turned it into like a bougie pizzeria. But w it's actually Chuck E. Cheese pizza fam. No, that's actually W marketing. Yeah. Wait, could they sue? They they no one can sue, right? Because it's, it's it, that's, what it that's what it is. That's what it is. It's just yeah. Packaged differently. Yeah. It's just packaged, but that's life, bro. Yeah. Honestly, everything's just packaged differently. What's presented better? Mm-hmm. Loki's all the same. Yeah. Like how much how much water brands are there? It's still water. Water is the same thing. It's yeah. like I guess you can like, like tap water. A bit of a taste, like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But, but I mean it's, it's still water. So our minds are brainwashed to pick like this is the one I want to pick. Yeah. You know what I mean? I think the biggest placebo one that I saw on TikTok was just like uh it had a like a picture of AC. Mm-hmm. And then it made the AC sound. Oh and yeah, then, yeah, and, and it then, felt uh, cold. Yeah, <laughs> and then it's like if you pull put this close to your face, you'll feel colder. And it does. And, and, and it like, does. Oh, this bro. shit is cold. But you know what's jokes? Your phone is cold no matter <laughs> <Yeah>. what. <laughs> it's cold anyway. Your phone is cold anyway. <laughs> that sucks. Oh, Yo, there's a there's an even crazier finesse, fam. Oh, yeah? At every grocery store. This, Which one? This shit blew my mind. So you know how the grocery store when you go to the vegetables. Yeah. And they spray mist. Oh, mist. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Why the fuck do they spray mist, right? No, that makes sense, though. Why? To keep it fresh. To clean it. Yeah. yeah. Wrong. <laughs> Check this out. The reason that they put mist on all of the veggies and the leafy greens mm-hmm. is to add weight to the product. Oh. So when you weigh it and you actually pay, you pay more because the water is making it heavy, bro. Oh. This whole time. This whole yeah. fucking time, bro. That makes sense. They spray the water so it's heavier. They don't yeah. care about if actually they did a test and putting water makes it spoil faster. Wow. It doesn't do anything to keep it fresh. Um, that makes sense because I think on baristas, when they're spraying the coffee beans, mm. uh, when they're weighing it, they put water to make it more weight and they spray oh, it. Oh, to make it heavier. It yeah. So they don't lose any of that weight. Like they add weight. Oh shit! Yeah, when it grinds up, and then look, look at like when you go to um, I forgot what 
what restaurant it was specifically. Yeah. But I know they did like a, a small, medium, and large. Mm -hmm. The medium fit in the small and oh, the Starbucks, large fit. Starbucks. It's, it's Starbucks? Yeah, because just because the ice. Yeah. If you put ice, it'll make it look like it's bigger. That's crazy, bro. Yeah. No, it's simple things like that where they just straight finesse us, bro. Because they know. They know we'll, we'll pay just because the way it's packaged. Yeah. If it was packaged any differently, <laughs> like we'd probably be like, uh. You know what? Virgil Ablo said it the best. Uh -huh. It's like, there's no wrong way to do art. Mm -hmm. As in like, ev even food. There's yeah. no wrong way to do it, but there's a right way to edit. Mm. Edit it? Edit it. So make it look presentable after the fact. Yeah. So let's say you make like super abstract art, right? Mm. Even though it's so wild and like, it looks weird as fuck. Yeah. If you edit it properly, you can make that shit look like $2 billion oh, worth. Bro. Yeah, speaking of Virgil Abloh, the first thing that came to mind was the Jeffrey Epstein thing. Mm -hmm. You know, there was two guys that actually went on that island and started vlogging. Oh, really? Yeah, so they they got on and they're like, oh, I'm so scared, I'm so scared. Like, what they find? They, they found the building. They found Jeffrey I'm sorry, Epstein's building. Oh, shit. And then they went, they like they were looking in it, but they didn't want to vlog. There was something in the middle that yeah. was covered with a blanket. What the fuck? Yeah. Like, like a person? Yeah. And that, that's all they saw until they, you feel me? Bro, what but the all, the, all these big people, like they have backstories. Because because there's a big theory right now that Benjamin Franklin was actually a serial killer. Did you know Benjamin this? Franklin? Yeah, like the, with the, the guy on the with bill. The key? Yeah, yeah. There's a theory that he's actually a serial killer because when he lived in London, he lived in a house for a, a few like months, right? Yeah. And then he moved to America, mm -hmm. right? So there, uh, the people there were like, okay, let's make his house a museum. Mm. So when they started renovating, they started clearing all the furniture out. They started to dig, oh, to shit. dig under the house. Yeah. You know what they found, fam? Underneath the house was 15 skeleton heads. Yo. 15 under, under Benjamin Franklin's house. And then it was the crazy part. It's not even like human heads. It's like little kid heads. Nah. Yeah. It's like really small heads. And they found 15 of them. Holy shit. Under a room with no windows. And this is like dated way back too. Yeah, this is dated way back. Fuck. <clears throat> yeah. Because what's scary, bro, is you don't realize back in the day mm. for somebody to disappear, mm. it doesn't take too much. Because yeah. now there's a lot of information. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of spread. cameras and everything. Mm -hmm. But back in the day, somebody could just disappear like that. Fam. Yeah. I know. Like, oh, they move countries. Like, yeah. oh, how are you going to know? Yeah, I know. But now they have database and everything. Yeah, like, they passport yeah. check, everything, dog. Yeah. Back in the day, their passport was probably, like, written on ink. Fuck, bro. I wonder who was the first person to make a passport. To make a passport? Yo, who's the first person to make a border? Yeah, the government, bro. They got to stop the people from coming in, bro. Because overpopulation, probably. No, but, like, to get everybody to do that, though, at the same time, that's mm -hmm. kind of crazy. Yeah. But I know they did taxes back in the day, too. That's, like, a... They did? Yeah, I remember in Jesus' time, they were doing taxes. Oh, for real? I didn't know that. Were so they? Account, accountants, I think they were, right? So accountants been been a, a generational job. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I don't know if it... It is taxes. Turbo no, tax has been... A, Robin right? Hood, fam. Robin Hood was like, was like mad because the government was taking too much taxes. What the fuck? Yeah. So he started killing everyone? That's why? No, he started stealing. He didn't yeah, start yes. killing everyone. <laughs> No, Robin Hood like stole from the rich, gave to the poor. Yo. Like he stole the tax money and like gave it back to the poor, gave yeah, back to yeah. the hood. Oh, that's why it's okay. Robin, Robin Hood. Robin Hood. <laughs> hood man's. <laughs> he was the original hood man. Where did the word neighbor come from? Oh. No, no, no. Because neighbor's a word, yeah. Yeah. And then hood, or like why? What added the hood to it? Neighbor, neighbor, hood. Like what added the hood part? I actually don't know. It, why don't they just call it neighbor place? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna lie, whoever named it though, it rolls off the tongue. That's what I'm saying. Like, neighbor place doesn't roll off the tongue. Like, right? oh, I'm, I'm on my neighborhood or I'm on the block is way, is way yeah. cooler. No, oh, you know the app Robin Hood though? What? There's an app called yeah, Robin Hood? Yeah, it, it's, it's a stock trading app. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know that one. So they actually got negative karma, fam. Why? Because, you know, during, um, it was the big crypto boom. No, it wasn't even oh, crypto. Like the, the rug pull? It was the, fuck, what was it called? Bitcoin, again? Bitcoin, Bitcoin. Not even Bitcoin. It was, um, the GameStop. Oh, the GMC. Yeah, the game, the GameStop yeah, yeah. act mm -hmm. or GameStop scandal, stock. Scandal. Yeah, 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 the GameStop stock. Yeah. So when it started booming, Robinhood they stopped trading completely yeah. because they were making too much money. Fuck. Like the stock was going so high. Yeah. They shut it down. Damn. And then, like, obviously, once that happened, nobody wanted to use Robinhood no more. Yeah. So they were doing the opposite because mm -hmm. they were supposed to steal from the rich, give to the poor. The poor yeah. But they're stealing from the poor, giving to the Damn. rich. 
No, you know that machine that I was talking about where um uh, it gives you your your score on how rich you are. Yeah. So there was a there was a story where some guy who had kind of like he was up there. He was like fifth or sixth. Mm-hmm. As soon as he left the museum, he got jumped. Oh fuck! Yeah, for real. Yeah, because he had a, he had hella money. That's so, it's, fuck. so it's like, and you have your picture there. Yeah, too. yeah. <laughs> Yo, so you, that's you know bad. which one? Yeah, you know. Which and that's one. in Miami, bro. Yeah, I remember I was in Miami. Uh, not not Miami, but just outside of it, like one of the the side cities. Yeah, yeah. And we went to this hotel. Okay. So I want to ask one quick question for all the supporters watching. Where are you in your mental health journey? And no matter where you are, talking to a therapist who is trained to help can make a huge difference. So if you guys feel like you have no one to talk to, these therapists can give you a new outlook on life and can help you guys recover your energy, confidence, and joy. So shout out to our sponsors, Talkspace. They can help you find the right therapist with the right training for you. So Talkspace is a new, more convenient way to find a therapist and meet with them. Everything is done online. You guys can find a therapist you feel closest to, you meet virtually, and wherever you're most comfortable on your schedule. So there's no missed work or scheduling childcare for an appointment. It's therapy designed for your life. So finding a therapist can be very overwhelming, but Talkspace takes the pressure off that first step. Talkspace is more flexible, convenient, and affordable way to get high quality care. If you have issues that come up, you don't need to wait for your next appointment. You can message your Talkspace therapist anytime on the app or schedule a live session if you need some FaceTime. And Talkspace has thousands of therapists with all kinds of specialties. There's something who's exactly right for you and Talkspace makes it easy for you both to connect. So if you're looking to renew or rejuvenate your life, look to Talkspace. And now get $100 off your first month when you go to Talkspace.com slash jumpers to match with your dedicated therapist. So go to Talkspace.com slash jumpers, J-U-M-P-E-R-S. Now to get $100 off Talkspace.com slash jumpers. So I moved out recently and my family has a skylight frame in the house and they love it because even though I'm not at the house anymore, I can update them by sending pictures through skylight frame. So the skylight digital photo frame is a sweet and meaningful gift that will give you a new way to stay in touch with those you love. It's so simple and fun to use even if you're not tech savvy. No app or subscription required to send photos anytime from anywhere. So it's a great way to feel close to those you love even when you're far away. It sets up effortlessly in one minute and even the least tech savvy can use it. It holds thousands of photos and continuously rotates through and brings daily joy. It's 100% satisfaction guaranteed. If you don't love your Skylight frame, they'll offer you a full refund and so preload it with favorite photos for a special month. Mother's Day gift. Surprise them with photos they didn't even know you had. So in the morning, my mom loves to watch the photo cycle while she's enjoying her morning coffee. And she even calls me when a new one pops up. So now as a special Mother's Day offer, get 10% off up to $30 off your frame when you go to skylightframe.com slash jump, J-U-M-P. That's right. To get 10% off up to $30 off your purchase of a Skylight Frame, just go to skylightframe.com slash jump. That's S-K-Y-L-I-G-H-T. F-R-A-M-E dot com slash jump. Bro, this was the first hotel that I've been to where you had to scan your card, like your room key, mm-hmm. to actually use the elevator. Because okay. usually at a hotel, you don't. Usually. Yeah. But this one, you did. So I'm like, ah, oh, this is interesting. It's a little, a little bit kind of sketchy, right? Yeah. So you went up to our room. Dead ass in the middle of the night, what I hear pop off. What? Pop, 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 pop. Oh, <laughs> Just outside the window. Yeah. Shots. And that's the first time I, I like heard. I think that's the first time I heard gunshots like in person. What, what age were you? This was uh, I think it was like twelve. <laughs> okay, twelve. Yo, something I knew like that. I knew Carlos was about that life because we were we were in L.A. and we were stuck. So so our 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 friends were out with the room key, mm-hmm. and we were stuck like outside the, our door, and we were kind of in like a sketch place because L.A. is always sketchy at night. Yeah. So. There was like two guys fighting, like yelling back and forth, like over there, right? And I'm like, I'm just like trying to sleep. And you hear, yo, fuck you, fuck you. And then Carl's like, yo, I hope I hear guns. <laughs> he's, like, he's, like, he's like, yo, just let it go already, fam. Just like, pop up. <laughs> I'm like, no. No, because we were so bored. We were waiting outside the room for so long. I'm like, yo, I want to hear something yeah. happen. Like, it, are they really going to argue this long and nothing happens? <laughs> That was a crazy statement because I'm like, why do you want to? We're right beside it. Like, you can hear it outside. Okay, the knock on wood. Like, I don't want nobody to get hurt. <laughs> yeah. But what's the point of releasing all this negative energy yeah. and then not doing anything? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, sure, let it out, let it, let it go. But why are you going to make such a big scene, <laughs> yell, 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 and then not do nothing to, to solve it, fam? A lie. At least fight him. <laughs> yeah, like, 
like throw hands or something. But this guy was that so shit. ready. He's like, yo, let's, I want to hear it. It's like fireworks to you. It's like gunshots are fireworks. <laughs> because we're in the States. So that's what I expected. Yeah, yeah. If we're in the States, that's what I expect. I'm like, oh, yeah. something's going to come off. Yeah. But, but some final destination shit when you sent me it was um the, the construction that fell. And I was looking at it and you're like, look, look what happened in oh, front of yeah, our Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And like, imagine you were just standing there and you found something. Oh, I think about that sometimes. I'm yeah, scared, yeah. bro. No, whenever I walk, walk over there now, I walk like to the side. Yeah. And I walk under the, the under the, the yeah under the, 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 roof, yeah, the roof the roof I walk under the roof now because yeah. that's such a scare, bro. It is because ima- like imagine like no one got hurt, but imagine someone did. Mm-hmm. Even if I was close to it, I would probably like like pretend like get some money. Oh, off. You're, yeah, if you're beside it, you have to, or at least because I was thinking about it. Right? Uh-huh. What if it did land like right beside you? You didn't get hurt. Yeah. But you just were traumatized because I would low key be traumatized. Exactly. Yeah. Like dead ass, I would that's probably be final traumatized. destination, bro. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Would you still get money? Yeah, emotional trauma? Would. Emotional trauma. I'm pre- pretty sure you can get a lawyer for that. I heard on Reddit, there's like a life hack. If you ever get caught in prison or if you get arrested, yeah. like off some like petty crime, just sit in the corner and just like... And then like act crazy. Like, so, oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> so, so people, so they let you go because of your mental? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, there was some crazy case. I don't know if you've seen the Netflix documentary for this too. Mm. A pizza delivery guy who got um, a bomb attached to his neck. Oh, shit. did you hear this? This is a, this a, a movie or this is no, like it's, real? It's, it's real and they turned it into a Netflix documentary because it was so crazy. No way. Yeah. A bomb on his neck? On his neck. So this is what happened. So uh, it was a random random day, random yeah. evening. And the gu- the pizza guy gets a call. He's like, okay, I'm, I want these uh, pizzas delivered to my house, mm-hmm. right? All of a sudden, when he comes, he knocks the door. He gets taken in and there's guns. He gets uh, robbed at gunpoint. Damn. Right? So what these guys tell him, they strap a bomb onto his neck right Mm -hmm. and they say i'm gonna give you a scavenger hunt to reveal riddles to try and get this bomb off your neck and you have to complete it in a time frame so you can survive oh so they sent this guy on a whole game so one of one of the games was he had to get two hundred fifty thousand dollars out of a bank so what this guy does they send him in uh with a white shirt that says guess on it yeah right and uh, and a cane that's disguised as a gun mm. walks in, and the guy says, uh, slips the teller a note. He says, "I need two hundred fifty thousand, or this bomb will go off in fifteen minutes." Lifts up the shirt, oh, shows fuck. the teller that there's actually a, a bomb attached to his neck. The teller's like, "Sir, I don't have the access to the vault right now, yeah. so I can only give you eight thousand dollars." He's like, "Fuck it, I'll take it." Gives him the eight thousand dollars. The police are already on the way. Mm-hmm. The police are standing outside, but they don't want to go in because the guy has a bomb. Yeah, he's a bomb. Yeah, so he takes it, and uh, the police don't get close to the point where they can still handcuff him, but they leave him right. Mm-hmm. So he's surrounded by cops. He's surrounded by helicopters. Right. Eight minutes later. Bomb goes off. He didn't make it in time. Oh, he died. He died because and he, they did it in front of uh, live television. So they oh, they purposely made sure that everyone sees that there that he got killed on live television. So, Damn. So there's a bunch of theories going around of what happened. Like what is what is going down with this guy? Yeah. So theory number one, he got like forced into a bank robber mystery. That's the yeah. That's the easy one, right? But second theory is that he was actually in it the whole time. Oh, so he was actually trying to rob the place. The whole time. And they were just, he thought that the people that put the bomb on him wasn't an actual bomb. It was a decoy. Mm. But it actually went off. Mm. And they found that that guy with the bomb on his neck actually wanted to rob a bank a few months ago. Yo, because take this in. If I was like the heist crew, I'm not saying I'm like a a criminal, but, Mm -hmm. and your boy got caught, he could tell. That's exactly. So if you could explode him, mm-hmm. there's no more telling. There's no more telling. And uh, it's big, get, this investigation has been going on for decades, right? Mm-hmm. The guy, the main heist guy who set it up, he killed himself before there was any investigation. Oh, shit. And one person turned themselves in. Damn. Yeah. This is a true story. This is a true I story. Know, I know there's a movie like that, though. What? With, um, what's his name? Like in, who's the guy in, in Social Network? He uh, looks like Jet. Oh, oh, uh, fuck. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I know the guy. So the guy from Social Network. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's not Andy Samberg. It's someone else. No, I know. The guy who looks like that. That's the perfect. Yeah, the guy that looks like Jet. Yeah. But he was in a movie just like that. Oh, I'm really? pretty sure. And the, the funny the funny brown guy. I forgot his name, though. Yeah, yeah. I think his name's Ari. Mm. Something like that. But yeah, that's that's exactly that movie where mm-hmm. like strapped on 
Yeah. And the thing. There's a there's a Black Mirror episode like that too. Like there's a Black Mirror they episode. Took, like they probably took um influence from. I think that came first though. That that oh, might have came, came first because okay. the Black Mirror one's a little bit different. Mm -hmm. It's he was caught on camera through his webcam doing some nasty stuff. You know what I mean? Oh, okay. And they used that to blackmail him to go and just do errands. So he had to go drop off a cake somewhere. Yeah. He had to go like pick some stuff up and drop it off. Damn. But if you think about it, all of this shit, all of this shit happened through like the dark web. Mm -hmm. Like they were just watching him through his camera the whole time. And for that one second, boom, I got you. Yeah. Now I can blackmail you. Fuck, bro. So what's scary is what if somebody's watching through your webcam mm -hmm. every single second until they catch you doing something where they can extort with? Cause that could be a possibility. Yeah. No, one thing um my friend told me: whenever you're like on your phone and you're and this green light pops up all of a sudden, it's recording. It's recording. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, what do you call this? My friend told me that one of her friends were like in the bathroom doing something, and that green light popped off, mm. and she got sent a WhatsApp message no. of her naked. Nah, no, that's fuck. and like and like from a random number, right? And she's like. Fuck that green light was on the whole time I didn't know. Yeah. You know, and that shit can go on any time and it'll start recording you. Yeah, because you could get like caught even if it's like through a link or whatever. Yeah. But that's the scariest. Like if it's on WhatsApp, you know it's serious. It's some, like it's some it's, dark web. It's dark web. Like because <laughs> if it's iMessage, I'm oh, I'm like, right. hold on. There's, there's some other scammers like out here. They tried but it. but WhatsApp? No, WhatsApp. That's is, different. That's why I don't have WhatsApp, bro. Yeah. Oh, you don't? I don't have WhatsApp. So if they try, yeah. if that sh they try some dark web shit, it's not gonna work. Yeah. <laughs> no, not WhatsApp. Work, you know what I mean? WhatsApp makes sure like you're getting fucked. Yeah, bro. <laughs> Yo, You're getting uh, I know I, I was gonna say this um on the last podcast, okay, but I had a dream. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, bro. Let me hear that dream, fam. This dream, this dream scared me. Fam. Yeah, what happened? Okay, so the dream starts out like any regular dream, like you're hanging out with friends, blah blah blah, right? Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, we get an Amber Alert. Okay, and we're like to the rescue. Nah. Okay. Oh. <laughs> like fuck the that. Amber Alert says. You have approximately like 30 minutes. Russia just dropped nuke Matia. That's what they said. Chill, bro. Chill. In my dream, fam, it mm. felt so real. Mm. It literally felt like, okay, now what? Like, what am I doing here? Mm. I have 30 minutes. Like, what am I going to do with my life right now? Like, what do I really want to do? Okay. And my cousin was with me, like, in the dream. Mm. And she went straight away to try and find a solution. Like, oh, I'm trying to, like, because she's an engineer. Okay. She's trying to, like, make some blueprint for some, like, missile to stop a missile. Yeah. And you, you were know, probably like there that. chilling, huh? No, I'm just experiencing <laughs> it. I'm, like, watching okay. and I'm, I'm observing, like, what everybody does. Okay. And then there's this other scientist. And this kind of touched my heart, fam. Like, in my head. I guess it's, like, my subconscious talking to me. But there's this one scientist and his whole life, like, he wanted to be able to dunk. Like, that's okay. that's all. Like, that's his dream. Dunk of basketball? Life. Yeah, dunk of basketball. Okay. So he made some like Iron Man boots and was able to dunk. <laughs> but no, but but at the end of the when it's when it's at your last thirty minutes, mm -hmm. what do you think you're gonna do? Okay, last thirty minutes. Like if there's one dream like you could actually accomplish within that time, like what would it be? Mm -hmm. Or would it be to like try and save the world itself? Because there's some people like that, and there's some people that they're trying to save themselves as in their world as you. Yeah. Nah, last 30 minutes, I feel like the first thing that popped in my head, I would invite the boys over and then, like, play video games. Like, Burn. one last video game, you know? Like, because I feel like that's, like, very, like, happy thing to do yeah. when you go. It's either your boys or you're hanging out with your family. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to try and figure out, like, how to stop this missile. No, but I, th I think <laughs> that was just shown to me in my dream to, like, show different types of people. Different types of people? Yeah, because... Everybody had a different reaction. Okay. I think that's what my dream was about, really. It was well, just like... What, how did it end for you? Like, what did you do? In, well, for me, in my dream, I was observing. So you were just letting it go, like... Yeah, I was, like, living this is as it. is. Yeah, 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 I was living as is, like... Just how I would live right now. Yeah. Maybe that is bliss. Like, you know you're gonna... Like, something's gonna go, but you're enjoying these last few moments. That's the most bliss you'll ever gonna have in your life. Because take it in. It is. Yeah. No, like... Somebody... Everybody's gonna pass away at some point, yeah, yeah. but you're not. You can't think about that. Mm -hmm, yeah. You can't let that stop you from doing whatever you want. Like yeah. in that moment, does doesn't matter. Doesn't really matter what time. Like you're not supposed to know the time. Yeah, yeah. 
You know what I mean? Yeah. Like you should just be doing what you were meant to do, what you want to do, period. It's like the littlest things in life at that moment become the biggest blessings in your life. Yeah. Because it's like, oh yeah, in 29 minutes I'm dead, but this 29 minutes, the sun is out. Like you feel me? Yeah, exactly. Like it'll, it'll become a blessing to you. Exactly, fam. And, <clears throat> and there's a beauty to just life being life, bro. Like yeah. even all the little things that you don't like about it become good. Because you don't realize how much you like the snow until there's no more snow. Because in Canada, like, I feel like a lot of people can relate. Like, it's a hassle to shovel and shit. But when, let's say you, you grew up in the desert, yeah. people in the desert would love to see some snow sometimes. Yeah, because I was mad tired today. But then I was like, oh, the sun is out. That's a blessing. Like, I can wake up in my own bed and there's the sun, you know? Yeah. It's like small little But this guy like misses that. like five hours of the sun already. This guy wakes up <laughs> well, at like 4 a.m. <laughs> or 4 p.m. <laughs> Which is blessed because it's like I, I'm more grateful. Oh, I see the sun. I see the sun coming out. No, real shit. Real shit. Whenever I'm I wake up super early, I'm actually the happiest. Then wake up all the time, bro. What the fuck? Wake up all nah, you know what I noticed though? Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Like when when I wake up early and I have like more time to do shit, more okay. free. Yeah. More free. But I think the problem is a lot of us do have a lot of freedom, mm -hmm. but we lock ourselves in to not have freedom yeah. subconsciously. Like we do it without thinking we are. Like how much time do you spend on your phone? Boom. Let's say you spent like five hours on your phone. That's locked to your phone. Yeah, so yeah. if you put it in a different perspective, if I told you, you have to go sit in your room and spend five hours on your phone, boom, you can't do anything else. Mm -hmm. And I told you, you can't do shit. You have to spend five hours on that phone right now. Boom. Yeah. That would be a whole different perspective because you don't have the freedom to go out and do stuff. You have to sit there and do exactly that. Yeah. But realistically, we're already doing that. It's just broken up into different periods, right? Like if I told you, like you, could, you have to spend two hours, even like one hour looking at this USB. Yeah. Just go sit in your room and look at this USB for an hour. That'll be the most daunting task because you're forced to do it. Yeah. But the fact of, oh, I can do, I can look at this for a bit, put it away. I mean, go make some food. Yeah. Look at this. I put it away. You know? Oh, yeah, because it's like subconsciously you always have your phone on you like during the day. Exactly. Right? And it's, I think it's like out of those times, it's only sleep and this where I'm not on my phone. Mm. Which is crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. About. Me too, though. Yeah. That's everybody, though. That's everybody. Yeah, it's so which crazy. is bad. Yeah. Which is bad. But I'm trying, I'm, I'm really finding the value in little, little time spent consistently mm -hmm. adds up. Yeah. Oh, there was a thing where it's like um, uh, this one minute thing. Mm -hmm. So you do three exercises for one minute and you make slow progression, right? Yeah. So it's, I think it's uh, uh, jumping jacks, push-ups and sit-ups, right? And some guy did it and he started early, mm -hmm. but now he's like, say 60 to 70, mm. best shape of his life. Word. Because he kept doing it. It doesn't take a long time, just one minute mm -hmm. every day, but people don't like slow motion. They like fast, like yeah. I want to get built right away. Mm -hmm. But say you do this uh, consistently every day, you're you're set in the long run. Have you seen that Rick and Morty episode where Rick he has a night person? You ever heard night about that? person? No, like oh, like uh, in the the horny demon thing? No, no, okay. no, no. Like big mouth. So in Rick and Morty, there's this one episode mm -hmm. that Rick all of a sudden he has abs, and then oh. Morty's like, "How the fuck you get abs, bro? <laughs> yeah. Oh, geez, Rick, how do you get abs? You know what I mean? Yeah." And he was telling, he was telling Morty, oh, I have a night setup that my body will do stuff while I'm sleeping. Oh, that's hard. Yeah. So every single night, like the bed, like he was. would wake up, but it's not him because he's asleep <laughs> subconscious. Like he's asleep, but his body goes and just starts doing sit-ups. Yo, that's fire. At night, right? But it translates to his own body. Yeah, because it's still <laughs> him. It's still him. It's like, it just automatically like starts Yo, doing the sit-ups, bro. Isn't that's that crazy? Fire. That's fire. That's Loki, like, Kind of creepy though. No, because it scary? got dark. It got dark because the nighttime person wanted to be the full time person. Oh, okay, yeah. But that's like the whole episode. I don't want to like. That's get like into some that. spirit shit. Yeah. Yeah. So, some mystery that I saw too. You should never take your dog here. Why? It's, it's called the Overturned Bridge. Here? No, it's in England. Oh, okay. It's in England. Uh, people, I don't. People don't know why, but every time you take your dog there. I guess it's a spirit or something below the bridge. Mm -hmm. Your dog will randomly jump off. Jump off the bridge yeah, into the water. And it's been happening since the 1960s. Yo. Dogs have mysteriously looked over the corner, 
and jumped. Yo. Yeah. And and then drowned. No, no, and just there's nothing uh there's no water. It's just a bridge with stone. Okay. So below it they would just die, right? Oh fuck. Yeah. So there's been a the hella suicides. And if your dog survives the jump, yeah, he'll go back up and jump again. What the fuck? Yeah, but people don't know why these dogs have Yo. it. So there's theories. There's one theory. There's a spirit that takes over the dog that they can only see ghosts there. Mm -hmm. And it tells, forces them to jump off. Oh, they're like, yo, jump with me, jump yeah. with me. Or two, there's a there's a smell under the bridge that forces that, that there's curious of it and they jump off. But mm. I don't think that's, I don't think that's like, yeah. even though you smell it, a dog is not stupid enough to go. Mm -hmm. It's a 50 foot drop. Oh shit. Yeah, it's a 50 foot drop. So dogs don't survive that. Fuck. Yeah. So if you take Diego there, don't like make sure you hold in my it. head like my theory what what would happen is mm. the rocks are shaped in some miraculous way that when the wind comes by it becomes oh. a dog whistle oh yo that's actually a theory is I it i forgot to say that there's uh there's wind under it that is actually like a whistle so dogs get attracted yeah to that. that's what i was thinking yo, that's in my sick. head that's what i was thinking did like, you know that or no no i actually didn't know that what the fuck? i did actually didn't know that i was just that came up in my head that's kind of crazy. I forgot to say that one. Word. Yeah, that was the third one. That What it reminds me of, though, is The Happening. You ever hear about that movie? No, no, no. So it's just like that. Where, where it's like a whistle. Ev no, not a whistle. Just randomly one day, uh -huh. everybody that was outside started to kill themselves. No, started what? to just end themselves. What the fuck? Yeah. So people would just like just start jumping off buildings. People would like start stabbing themselves. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. And it only happened to the people outside. Now, in the movie, uh -huh. the theory was that it was actually the plants doing it. Like, they're releasing some chemical in the air. So, if you're exposed, automatically... Yeah. So, there was a, there's this one scene where they're driving in the car. Uh -huh. And, obviously, the car is, is closed off, right? They're driving and they're walking. They're driving through, like, the neighborhood. Uh -huh. And they can see, like, people hanging from the trees. Like, oh, oh shit. But they have to get to where they're going to go, right? Bro, they realize... They're in a convertible. No, and, and the door's open. And no, and the tarp has a little oh, cut. Oh, it's so the guy swerved. It has up a the little edge. cut. Nah, like they started driving, and then boom, they crash into a tree. Oh, they man. run outside, and the guy's like, he's he has like a limpy leg, but he's still not done. He grabs a piece of glass, God. and then you know what I mean. Yeah. And what's crazy, bro? Because the theory was like. This is in the movie yeah. that plants this whole time. They're not really treated well mm. unless they're by like people that take care of plants. Yeah. And you know what's crazy? Like this is real science. But if you think in your head like, oh, I'm going to water my plant. Yeah. Your plant scientifically, like they did a electromagnetic test on the plant and it changes frequency when you have that thought in your head. I think I talked about this on the podcast before, yeah. but there's there was a test. The scientist, he connected his plant to this electromagnetic sensor. Mm -hmm. And in his head, he said, I'm going to burn the plant. And then he started it, going crazy. Yeah. And the plant started reacting to it. He said it in his head, said it in his head. And the plant started reacting to it like on the on the sensor. No, say, because we are, obviously we have a podcast and we have a bunch of plants in here. Yeah. Our plants are probably the smartest out of everyone's. <laughs> I don't lie. <laughs> is it your theories yeah, and everything? Like, like, they're, probably, they're probably hearing all our conversations. Because life like, is life, right? Yeah. Life is life, then. And it, it's crazy to think, um, you, you know, like. put that on a t shirt by now because you love to say that. Life is life? <laughs> and, 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 like, it's like life is lifing right now. That's your main statement. No, but it's real, though. Yeah. It's so real. Like, there's no other way to explain <laughs> life than life because there's no other ad adjective yeah, or yeah. no other word that can explain it because there's so many different things that can be in it. Mm -hmm. Life is literally just life. Like how God is. Like God is God. You can't explain God. Yeah. There's too much for even us to understand. Yeah. There's not even enough like words probably to to explain life because yeah. we don't even know what the fuck life is. I know. There was, a, there was some disgusting shit that I saw on Reddit too mm -hmm. uh, since we're talking about plants. You know the the one-up Mario sh shroom? The yeah, green yeah, one? Yeah, yeah. So there's a theory that those come from every Mario that's died, right? Mm. And it's like a plant. So the Marios are in the dirt and they're rooted in the ground and it grows 
into the, from their backs into that one up mushroom. <gasps> oh so, wait, so his head his becomes head the becomes, mushroom? Yeah, yeah. Yo. So that that's the theory. It's like if you pick it up, that's the dead Mario that died there. Because he yo, because the Mario running through, he would have yeah. died in that spot. Exactly, exactly. And then it grows. Oh yo, that's crazy. And there's different there's different Marios, but the ones that die grow into a thing. And the picture is so disgusting. I'll show it on thing. It's like Mario, and it's a plant growing out of his oh, bag. Oh shit. <laughs> That's fucked. Yeah. Yo, there's um, there's a theory for Mario though. I have a crazy one. Okay, let me hear. It. So nobody knows this. Mm-hmm. Mario, why is he a plumber? <laughs> crazy. There's lore. Crazy. There's lore. Check this out. Japan, yeah. right? They released the NES or SNES. Yeah, yeah. Mario being one of the first games ever, right? Okay. Why is Mario a plumber? I don't know. And why was Mario red and yellow? Check this out. During the time they made the NES, they really wanted to influence people Mm -hmm. into communism. And red and yellow being the original colors of Mario was there to influence- Like subconscious. Subconsciously for people to become part of this communist mindset. And the number one target they were trying to convince Uh were the blue collared workers. That's why Mario is a plumber. plumber. It makes no other sense to make Mario a plumber. Yeah, that's it's so random. Makes no sense. It's random. It's super random. Because they wanted it to relate to the blue collared workers and get them on board, bro. Is that crazy? Yo, everything, everything has a reason. Everything is a lie at this point. Fam. Everything has a reason, and then eventually, like when that passed, they yeah. changed the colors. Because why? Because Mario should be yellow and red right yeah. now, but he's not anymore because that kind of like I guess era of them trying to do that changed, uh-huh. and they went into democracy. Obviously, what the fuck? Nah, everything's a lie, bro. Because what I thought is like they related it to Italians, but I, why would they relate Italians to plumbers? It's in Japan. Yeah, it's in Japan, fam. Exactly. Nah, that's kind of fucked. It's crazy. That's kind of fucked. Because we would never know unless you actually like dive into it and, and really take it in. Because look, for example, yeah, that's a great example. Mario, we just think it's a game. Yeah. We just think, oh, it's blah, 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 blah. But everything can be used as a propaganda fan. I have a theory that all of those military movies that they made back in the day, yeah. especially Top Gun, was made to get more recruits into the Air Force. Mm. Tell me I'm wrong, bro. No. How many people has Top Gun influenced to go into the Air Force? Probably every single person in the Air Force watched Top Gun in their life. Yeah. So, Loki, you can predict the political outcomes through movies. Like, what are they pushing out mm. at this time? Oh, boom, boom, boom. You can see, maybe it predict like what's gonna come next. Yeah. And I talked about this before, but yeah. the movie Christopher Nolan is making mm-hmm. is about the first atomic bomb. Oh. And it just so happens it's like that right now. Fuck, get me. Like everything's kind of, I feel like it lines up on purpose. Yeah. No, I feel like it is on purpose. Though. It's like, on purpose, bro. They're definitely trying to push something through propaganda. Because we don't really take it in. Like before it used to be the news that kind of makes us move. Yeah. But it's really the creative arts that make us move yeah. and it still is because through there you can you can show something without showing it and as soon as people catch on to it then it doesn't work mm. but obviously shit you know yeah, yeah bro a lot of like i feel like we're gonna look back on some cartoons like yo mm. that was that was to make us horny yeah, you know what exactly, i mean like exactly. for real yeah for real like that shit was to make us horny and yeah. like make money off of us yeah there was some <laughs> there's some japanese indie movie that i i, I saw on tiktok mm. where uh they ran out of, like, they were running a zoo, right? Yeah. And the, all the animals were dying. So there were no more animals. So you know that um, a guy that dressed up or, or like, paid $10,000 to be a dog? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They kind of took that concept. They made it. And, and they made... <laughs> They made everyone a separate animal. That's fucked, so, bro. So they would have a polar bear, right? And the guy would be in it like this. And a person would also be like, it's a human centipede type thing. Yeah. Where they would be in the costume. Oh, there's and two people in one costume? Yeah, it was like, it was crazy. So the guy was like, oh, uh, look, mom, a polar bear. And it's like, oh, it's about to jump in the water. But before it jumps in the water, the guy the guy is running the zoo. He's like, don't jump the suit you you can't get the suit wet oh. and, and the people were like what the fuck <laughs> right so at the end of the day all of them 
a a polar bear, a grizz a, a grizzly bear, uh, a sloth. Yeah, were walking home from work, <laughs> and there's this guy who saw them. He's like, "Mom, why are all the animals Yo, leaving?" Yo, that's crazy. Guess what the animals did? They saw that person, jumped that human. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, because they they can't uh they can't uh leak that information. If that information oh, that gets out, animal. the zoo gets gets banned. <laughs> Yo, is this is this like for real? For real? Fam, Japanese movies are the funniest, bro. It's so funny. Oh, it's a movie. Yeah, it's a movie. It's a oh, movie. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, okay. I thought that was real. It's a, it's that's movie. not too hard to believe, fam. Because yeah. I remember seeing like this this uh, viral video. Mm-hmm. It's like a, a cashier. That's yeah. a cat. Okay. Have you seen it? No. It's like a hum a human sized cat as a cashier. What the fuck? This real life? Yeah. Like I'll show you. Yeah, yeah. Is this like a furry or no? Like it's I don't actual- know. I think it's just like part of the <laughs> the aesthetic. Look, look, human. <laughs> Human size cat register. You ever seen this? What the fuck? <laughs> Yo, and it looks so real too. And then the what cop, the, the, the comments were like, the comments were like, "Yo, imagine you walk in the store, hi." <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm that's almost, crazy. No, that's insane. That's insane. Cause it looks so real, bro. Yeah, that that that's Jeff, definitely in Japan or China. Yeah, this right? is Japan. Yeah. Yo, I lowkey, if I go to Japan, I'm buying a katsu, fam. <laughs> and, and bringing it back to Canada. Yo, bro, you can become a furry? No, but it's like furries are more animated. Mm. That looks like an actual like cat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. You feel me? It's like cartoony. Yeah, it's 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 not cartoony. I saw at a all. video, I don't know if I said this, but I saw a video of a furry and they seem really nice, bro. Yeah, yeah. They seem like really kind. Cause I have this theory mm. and I, I say this all the time, like whenever I go to fan expo, comic con, whatever, the people that wear cosplay, the people that are very open to like expressing their fandoms and shit. Mm-hmm. They're the nicest people in the world. Facts. Because they don't give a fuck about their uh, opinion. The least judgmental people in the world. Yeah, because, exactly. yo, they're out here like this, wearing a cat suit. You know what I mean? Like, you're, I'm not judging you because you can't yeah. judge me. Yeah. As a non cosplayer, I caught myself doing that because I was in Sobeys and, like, mm. the whole fan expo was going on. Yeah. And I see mans in Sobeys, like, on a regular day, mm. buying, like, tomatoes with a, a Goku thing on. And I was like, what the fuck is going on? Why? <laughs> How could you wear this in public, bro? No, but the thing is, though, at the end of the day, it's just what became the norm. Yeah. What became the norm? Clothes is clothes. Yeah. Feel me? Clothes are clothes, Because they bro. could look at me in ripped jeans and be like, what are you wearing? Exactly. Yeah. Clothes are really just clothes. It, it's just to the point of what's worn a lot. Mm. The more it's worn, the more it's acceptable. You know what I mean? Okay. And then it becomes like, oh, yeah, that's whatever. All right, scenario then. Say uh, you're dating a girl, right? And she's a furry? No, no, no. And uh, every time you go out, she, like, wants to cosplay. That's kind of lit, bro. She, no, like, every, like, fancy dinner... She, like her like suit Dep- depends what she's she's dressed as her bro. suit is like a sailor moon like suit so say say you're going out every time and she's like bae we're going on fancy dinner no i want to wear my sailor sailor moon outfit i feel like i would i would be open to trying that really i would be open to trying that so Fuck no i nah? wouldn't i wouldn't fam there's a time and place for everything on our anniversary you can't be cosplaying man no but like Okay, maybe not all the time for sure. Yeah. But out in public often. You would be down? It, it's not a big deal in my opinion. Because clothes are clothes, like I said. Would you match her energy and, and instead of wearing her normal clothes, you would cosplay with her? I think It depends should. how I'm feeling. Okay, okay. <laughs> depends how I'm feeling. <laughs> like on, s- Honestly, look. Remember what I said uh, with the Kanye quote? Yeah. If everybody... <laughs> if I'm running down the street shirtless... <laughs> <laughs> and panting <gasps> out of breath, <laughs> man's gonna say you're crazy. Running down the street shirtless, you're gonna be like, <gasps> yo, that guy's crazy. Yeah. But if I'm running with 50 other people, it's a but, marathon. But it's you two only. There's no other 50 other people, you know? No, but what I'm saying though, look, mm. for example, fashion, right? And you know this. Yeah, yeah. When it becomes like a little bit abstract and not too far off the regular, yeah. it becomes the trend. But real talks, depending on how fast you move, the most abstract is the trend, just not at that moment. Mm, yeah, that makes sense. There was something that I saw too, is like the 50, 30, 20 rule. Mm-hmm. So when you're dressing, it's supposed to be like 30%, you're supposed to look homeless. Yeah. Oh, I heard 20, the drug 20, addict. 20% drug addict. And that'll make you fashionable. But it depends on like the aesthetic you're going for. Yeah. yeah. That, ex- that aesthetic. Yeah. That yeah. aesthetic. Yeah. Like the avant-garde. Like mm-hmm. that, you should follow that rule. The grilled. The grill, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the, the grilled, grilled aesthetic. Look, yeah, yeah, the grilled aesthetic. Because yeah. nowadays, I, I can see like older people wearing just regular clothing, what you would 
say is like norm mm -hmm. normal yeah. I'm like yo that's very dapper feel me yeah and i would never say that in my head yeah. back in the day fam uh back in the 2000s they would wear clubs i mean they would wear suits into the clubs oh yeah fam. the baggy and suits too yeah like you would be sweating in the club now yeah and now it's like you can just get in wearing jeans fam mm -hmm. i feel like we should bring that back low key that would be a wear vibe. suits to the club because i feel like uh, Not in Serrano clothes. That's too. No, no. But I feel like just in general, they should bring back suits in clubs. They should just bring back like kind of. I was saying this from formal, their time, yeah, bro. Yeah, low key. We should bring back formal just because it's more presentable and it's a lot more. I don't know. It feels good as a community. I get it. Yeah, I, I get why you say that. Yeah, because it, it's very like um. We're on manners. Yeah, yeah. You get me? You're not thawing out. You're not like exactly, out. Yeah. bro. Like we're on manners. Mm -hmm. You get me? Like everybody's doing good. But <laughs> the problem with that, and people always say this, is like the progression from that isn't good. Because because you're kind of moving backwards. It's like less free because it's almost a uniform. To be in a suit is kind of uniform. It is, but I guess club attire is also uniform, right? Nah. Like the jeans and the. Now you have freedom to wear like okay, different guess. tops and blah guess, blah blah. But a suit is a suit. Mm, you know what I mean? Like yeah. it, it's built that way. Yeah. It's kind of a uniform. True. It's like uh, if you go wrestling and you wear the leotard, mm. like you gotta wear That's the. Uniform. You can't wear like you know what I mean. You can't wear like a sweater. Fuck, you're right. But I don't know. I want them to bring that back because I feel like that creates so much more tension than than what we're doing now. Because mm -hmm. it's like when you see like a, uh, or say you're going to a. Uh, a dinner a fancy dinner i feel like if you're both looking good that creates the most tension between people mm -hmm. but if you see a girl like in like half half her clothes are stripped away and shit like that that's like i don't want that bro <sighs> you know it, it, i get it goes you away, i do you know? get you like the attraction goes Be away because because it's like um it's like everything's revealed. Yeah. It's and like, there's no mystery. Exactly. Exactly. But it, when you're in a suit, like, you want to get to know them to get to that point. But girls will be wearing dresses, though. Yeah, yeah. Girls will be wearing dresses. That's the thing. Like, they, it should be like that. A girl in a dress and a guy in a suit. Mm. You feel me? I feel like that could save our generation, low-key. Because there's no more, I'm outside. Like, no. You're inside in a suit. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's me? manners, right? Yeah, it's, it's manners. Like, it's it, it'll, manners it'll tighten thing. up our generation. Because mm. the way it's moving... I, this is my theory, mm -hmm. and I bet it's a lot of other people's theory, too. Mm -hmm. We're going to reach the point where we're doing too much yeah. of a wild fucking experience of life that we're going to have to be like, yo, let's we need some rules. I think that's a great reset. I think that's what happens. It, yeah. it, that is the reset. It's yeah. like, all right, this is too crazy now. <laughs> like, yo, we got to dial it back. Turn it down a notch. <laughs> like, I remember um, uh, in Ryerson, mm -hmm. I think you're the one that told me this story, where... Uh, uh, a girl would be wearing jeans, but her ass would be oh, cut yeah, out. Oh, yeah, bro. And I'm like, okay, at school, that's yeah, kind of crazy. They got to chill. Like, they got to chill. Like, I'm trying to focus on my assignment <laughs> right now. Nah, that ass, like, there was a girl in my class, yeah. butt cheek hanging out yeah. from a rip. Crazy. Like, the rip is on purpose to show her Yeah, ass. fam. That's crazy. <laughs> I don't know who designed that, but shit. But at the same time, freedom is freedom. Yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, enjoy it. It's okay. Enjoy it. God, because God is coming. We, we, <laughs> God, God is coming. God is coming to church. <laughs> yo, that's the thing, right? Because, like, because we become more, yo, our homies, our peers can't judge us. But you forget, like, God <laughs> judges you still. I'm telling you, the great reset is coming, man. God is coming to save all of us, man. <laughs> I, I think... I think it's still gonna be like this, like this type of climate yeah. for at least another five years. There's no way we're gonna go into like <laughs> rules on rules. There's no like way. Everyone, no, once we hit the point where everyone's just wearing a G string, yeah, God's gonna come in some mm. point. We gotta look at God and say, yo, come save us, please. But all the time, here's what's crazy. Mm. But before, why the rebellious stuff became the trend, like ripped jeans were rebellious, yeah. like wearing black was rebellious, your spiky hair, blah, blah, all that stuff. That was rebellious because the norm was kind of the rule. Mm -hmm. But if the norm becomes the weird, the rebellious is the rules. So wearing business core, wearing the suits oh. is the rebellious now because everybody else is doing the weird. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. It's like it's like reversed. Yeah, yeah. It's reversed now. Cause I can see that happening. Right? Is everybody's doing too much crazy shit. Yeah. I'm keeping it. Clean. I'm Clean, keeping yeah. it blah, blah blah. That that's the person that's not Word. with the trends now. You yeah. know, because you know how they say um the '90s love was way more genuine. 
Mm. So now it's like it's very corrupted. Wait, the '90s love is more genuine oh, oh. than, or like uh, the old, the past love. You know how they're like uh, all the celebrities back then actually looked like they were in love, but celebrities now are like they're only in love because of the numbers and the the fame and the riches. Word. I feel like, like you said, since this is the 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 norm now, they're gonna st- like love will soon be genuine again. Like it'll mm. be back in that like positive way. Just because people want to get back to that. Yeah. But I understand why, like, history repeats itself because it, there's a pattern. Like, I- I'm starting to see it. Because if you take it in, like, the first people, there's no rules on, like, what you no can wear. Rules, they yeah. just decided, like, oh, this kind of looks good. Yeah. Yo, what do you think was the first t-shirt? Or the first attire, fam? It was probably, like, some leaves, bro. They probably, like, got a bunch of leaves and sewed some shit together. Or glued it. Or, like, fur, obviously. Like, yeah, animal yeah, fur, fur and stuff. So. Damn. But the first, first, it had to be leaves or some dirt. Could you walk a, Could you walk out the house just wearing fur? Like, straight up, just pelt. Not even in a t-shirt. Just, like, pelt. Pelt. I don't know. That would be... That's you look like your cosplay. <laughs> you look like your cosplay. Like, so. Fuck it. Oh, that's Fred Flintstone right there, man. <laughs> like nah but real th- uh, did we start at the rebellious because in a sense that's a rebellious but it's just what we had i think we just started at nothing and create i don't know that's did we question. start with rebel and then rules or yeah. did we just start with rules i don't know it's a good question actually yeah that is a good question because how did you start your life i guess with rules yeah i started my life because why life. is it such a weird thing to to be shirtless in public I feel like that's one of the things that unless you're should, deezed, unless you're deezed, I, I feel like that should be something that we should start pushing, bro. Like every man should, just, if it's a hot summer day, you don't gotta wear a t-shirt, bro. Yeah, I'm tired of my 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 sandals getting sweaty, bro. Like yeah, let me just yeah, take yeah. it off, even though I'm not deezed. It's because they told us, fam. It's because who like, told us? They, <laughs> you know they? what I mean? They like y'all they know who them. Is. Who are they? No, they like. It's just they, bro. A lie. They control the world. They man. But the real conspiracy is. We are they. Facts. Just as, just because we're going to start pushing that that no shirt policy next podcast, me and Carlos shirtless, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Okay. If this hits, if this hits 15K likes, <laughs> I swear to God, I swear to God. If it hits 15K, 15K is a lot. Oh, we hit 10. Yeah. We hit 10. 15K is possible. Facts. I'll dress up as a furry on the podcast. <laughs> and I'll go shirtless. <laughs> Ew, bro! Why you have to say shirtless? Just be a furry too, fam. Like, okay, fine. Why is one guy shirtless and one guy's a furry? That's <laughs> gross, bro. That would probably be the most our most. That's the most episode. pause. That's the most pause episode. Imagine the thumbnail. Imagine the thumbnail. Yo, bro. I'm like that. I'm like shirtless. Oh my god, fam. Nah, 15k likes. I'll dead ass like buy a furry costume and wear on the podcast. Okay, I'll, I'll do it too, and I'll do it outside. We'll do the podcast outside. <laughs> Now we're I, I don't know about that. I don't know. I don't know about outside, bro. Outside. But okay, hold on. If you did see a, per- a furry in person, yeah, like the worst thing you're gonna say is like shit in your head, unless you're like one of those loud people, like woof woof, yeah, or something yeah, yeah, like that. You know what I mean? Like nothing's really bad gonna happen to you. Nothing. I would say, what's up? Like, mm-hmm. oh, this is cool. How much you buy for? Shit like that. True. Apparently, they, they go for like a thousand dollars, bro. Yeah, they go for a lot. So that guy is probably thinking. I'm not gonna buy an expensive for your costume, but I like yeah, I'll make something. If I have like, if I'm a millionaire, right? Yeah. Once I get there, I'll probably just do these side missions and just one day I'll just buy a furry costume, go out in public, just to feel like how it is, mm. and then the next day do something else. You know? Yeah. I'll probably panhandle for. <laughs> just just try weird shit, right? <laughs> do you hear what I said? I'll probably panhandle. Oh, like this, bro? And you're even you though I'm a millionaire. Million? <laughs> oh my god! Just for like five hours, fam. Yo. There's one more thing I want to talk about because mm-hmm. you talking about that reminds me of David Cho. Oh, okay, okay. And he's kind of like that. He's very like weird, abstract, right? Yeah. But he is a millionaire, multi-millionaire, I'm pretty sure. And he does the most obscure and he things. And he does the most obscure things, yeah. right? But he said this one thing on Joe Rogan's podcast that has me thinking so much. Mm-hmm. And it's kind of crazy. It's jokes too. But he said, there's a reason why Asians have small eyes and weird looking eyes. Why? And he said it as a joke, but like it has yeah. me thinking. So he was on like a psychedelic trip, I think. Mm-hmm. And during his trip, there's like an alien that started speaking to him and then like told him things. He's like, you know why your eyes are like that, right? And he goes, <laughs> the fuck? and you know why you're blue? David Cho, he has a birthmark. On his ass? Yeah, yeah. that's blue. 
I think I had that too. You had that too? Yeah. Every, so a lot of Asian, a lot of Asian people, when they're born, they're yeah. born with like a blue mark on their yeah, butt. Yeah, yeah. Now, David Cho, well, he's on his psychedelic trip. Uh-huh. He said the alien told him, the reason your eyes are like that, the reason you have blue on you is because we messed with the Asian girl back in the day. And we made you. What the fuck? So, so Asians might be the closest related to, to aliens, aliens, bro. <laughs> Yo. Yo, because I had, like, I swear in baby pictures, if I really look it up, there was something on my ass. There's like, like something blue? Yeah, something blue or like. That's crazy. Let me search this up real quick. I yeah. just want to pull up a picture. Yeah. It's, a, it's called something. It's like a mark. Something mark. Asian blue. So I think on the podcast you were saying it was, um, it's related to Genghis Khan. Yeah, Genghis Khan yeah. mark. It was a Genghis Khan mark. Asian blue mark. Let's see. But that's crazy, bro. Yeah, I see this blue mark. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's crazy. I know. I swear I had that one on my ass, bro. I have a huge birthmark, but it's not blue. It's not blue. Maybe I'm a different alien. Oh, yeah. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> and that's where we end it, buddy. The little to give me a new house. Crazy title. <laughs> Yo, why are you guys actually pissed about that? It's satire, bro. Relax. It's jokes. It's jokes. It's jokes. Uh, thank you everyone for watching this episode of the Jumper Jump Podcast. Make sure you go check out my other channel. Go watch those those vlogs. I've been putting some work in those vlogs, yo. Go check that out. Comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Sir, make sure to go on Spotify, download this episode, rate it a five star. We love you guys, man. And yeah, Jumpers Jump out. Deuces.